Hey boys and girls, YouTube. This is kind of an unplanned video. I was going through my freezer a couple hours ago and found that big piece of meat right there. Uh, it's labeled a London broil, but you know, it's top round, top round steak, top round beef, whatever. Let me turn my pan down. So I thought it out, let it come up to room temperature. And I thought we'd cook us a big something, steak and taters. How about that? Big old steak and taters or meat and taters with carrots and onions. I think it'll be all right. So I got my cast iron pan coming up pretty hot over here. And we're just going to season this thing here up. This big piece of meat with salt and pepper. Just like that. Now let's put some pepper on there. Like I said, I was going to make this for supper. I thought, hell, I'll put this on video. One or two of you boys and girls might want to watch this. You never know. Uh, I bought this piece of meat on sale a while back. It's only three dollars, and that's that's almost two pounds. So let's throw this sucker in here in this hot pan like that. Get over here, look at it. I want to season this side also with salt and pepper. I want to sear that for about three or four minutes on each side. And that's going to give me plenty of time. Or it's going to give me some time to peel our potatoes and cut up our carrots and onions and all that stuff. So we'll be back in uh, we'll be back about six or seven minutes after this gets seared up. All right, boys and girls, guys and girls, everybody. <laughs> it's been about six minutes, three minutes on each side. And you can see I got a good uh, a good color on that. It looks just like that on the other side. I just checked it. So what I'm going to do now. I got two cups of seasoned water. Now, if you have both, if you got beef stock, whatever, by all means, use it if you want to. I'll just never keep it. That's two cups of water. That's some Westchester sauce, Winchester sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, salt, and pepper, a little garlic powder. I'm going to pour it right in there. Just like that. Just like I said, like I said, oh, get all that goodness in there. Now, we got all of our goodness over here all busted up. Potatoes, carrots, and onions. I'm going to throw all those guys in here. Mmm, you kind of in the way. Let me move you back just a little bit. Something like that, maybe. Let's grab this cutting board. Oh, there we go. Let's throw all us in there. Well, we just lost a carrot. That's okay. We got plenty. Get it all in there. We lost a potato. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> all right, let's get all that uh, vegetables in there and know all that seasoned water. Seasoned water. That's right. Now, might have to add a little bit more water. I think for now we're going to go with this. I'm going to cover this. Mm. Right now, let's add some more pepper. It's got plenty of salt in it. Let's add some pepper. Now, let's cover this with a little foil. Are you guys seeing what I'm doing here? Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? I don't think so. I'm going to cover this loosely with some foil. And I'm going to, the oven is heated up to 350. I'm going to stick that bad boy in there for about an hour. And we'll come back and check on it. And I'll bring you back in an hour. So hang on. Okay, gang, it's been one hour on the dot. And this house is smelling wonderful. Now, I put, just pulled it out, took the tin foil off the top of it. All I'm looking for is uh, just see if the, the potatoes and, and, and the carrots there are fork tender. If they are, this is done. Just trust me. Look at that. It goes right through that potato that fork does. Yeah, buddy, this is done. Let's check a carrot. Look at there. Yeah, right through that carrot. This is done. Guarantee it. God almighty, it smells good in here. Mm. <laughs> just like I said, my God, just like I said. Oh. This is something I make a lot, but I've never made it on camera. So, uh, 
Let me get this thing turned around and fix as a plate. And we'll be back in a second. All right, gang, there's just a big old plate, and I'm ready for it. I've been drinking a beer or two, waiting for this to get done. So, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> like I said, I made this. I make this all the time, and my family does too, because it's so easy. There's nothing to it. You seen what I did? And you don't need beef broth. You really don't. <clears throat> but if you got it, you can use it. Whatever. But it's just making some of that uh, seasoned water <laughs> is what I like to call it. It really does turn out great. Let's give us a taste of this meat right here. Boy, mmm. Check that out. That is done. That's good stuff right there. It's coming in the shadows. Mmm. I mean, it really is so tender. Of course, I love these onions and carrots. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> Pretty short video, I think. I hope, anyway. I don't want to bore everybody. Still got a bunch left over there in that pot or that cast iron pan. I mean, that's another reason I like doing this one pan cooking. You don't have to mess up a lot of things, a lot of dishes. Cooked everything in that one cast iron pan, and you can cook up something pretty damn good. As always, if you stay to the end, watched it all. Cheers. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.